Apparently, Twitch is back. Oh, let's get on that. So we'll be on that as well. Let's get on the good one. Yeah. We'll be on both of them. Oh, okay. How do we make the Twitch chat up here? Am I dying? Uh, you are close to death. I don't want to die. I mean, that that's, that's kind of the meaning of life, right? Yeah, but I'm not ready. I have more stuff to do. Well, then, you know, like, fight like, fight like you mean it. Man, it would be super cool if they had, like, health pickups. That's what I'm wondering. Like that? Like, where? I mean, that's the opposite of a health pickup. That's damage. But it'd be cool if they had health pickups in this game. Is that one? I... Yes? That was one. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, I'm back in there. I'm back in there, baby. I bitch. mean, that, that's that's how life works, right? Yep. You, you, you think you're out. You think, you know, you'll you never love again. Day. You you sing a sad something. I don't R remember I don't happy times. Re you remember happy times. When times is sad, <laughs> remember happy times. Exactly. You know, that that's how you get grit. Is, is you remember happy times. And then suddenly you're back in the game. And you just shoot the thing until it explodes at your face yep. and murders you. And you sing a sad song just to turn it around. Uh, I'm gravity now. I did a good thing. Whatever just happened was good. Oh no. Okay. A piece of nurse drone source code. Oh. Oh man, N now, according to the internet, you're able to hack the thing. Oh. How do I do that? We in there. Alright. Oh gosh, we hacked into it. So, so, will Nurse Bot give you health, or does she try murdering you? I don't know. What's this game called again? Riv. Rhyme. We're playing rhyme. R I M E rhyme. That is not rhyme. Thrive. Rhyme. R A I V E. We're the name of the game. It's we're like a misspelling of the word live. Got it. R A I V. Rhyme. Like, you know, we, you know, you gotta live it up at the at the rave, right? Yep. You gotta That's rhyme. Name, this game's called Rave, guys. Yep. You're wondering the name of this one. Called a rave, R A V E rave. All right, which I mean, the, frankly, the name makes sense. Look at these visuals, very, very much like a rave. There's lights popping everywhere. Now you made a game about like the the rave life, right? I did. That's called Dodge Club. Dodge Club Party, Dodge Club Pocket. It's coming to 3DS pretty soon. I'm excited about that. Now, whoa, whoa. Now, when I first played that game, I thought it was like a school club where you practice dodging things. It can be. See, that's the thing. It's like, it's like, what does it mean to you, you know? You know. My hacked pet computer is going to die. Oh, oh, I lost my pet. And this bat. Oh, he's back, but he looks screwed up. Oh, uh, no. That's that, that wasn't him. That was that more different one. Him. I murdered it. Why can't I open these boxes? Someone look up Rave on the internet and find out why in Rhyme we can't open up the boxes. Look up Rhyme, whatever this game is. Rave Rhyme. Rider. Whoa! Okay, don't touch the sharp blade. Okay, okay. hit the uh, hit the the PlayStation button on the on the controller. There isn't one. Okay, um one second. Hit pause. And now we're going to the internet. We need to find out. The world wants to know. Uh, challenge guide. Tips on challenge. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. We're going to find out. Dear Rye. Whatever it takes, we're going to find out. We don't know how to open boxes <laughs> in this game. <laughs> I don't uh, know. Single coin. Is that bad? It's for getting wrecked. Doing okay so far, I think. Maybe. I'd like to believe.
Uh. Hmm. So I'm trying to look online Rise. how to open the boxes in Drive the Game, which is what we're playing. Dr it's Drive is the name of the game. And we're trying to figure out how to open up the boxes. Did you mean instruction? Sure, why not? Yeah, let's look at that. So Okay. The name of the game is Reve, I believe. Oh, with an A, maybe? Reve. Reve the game. Wait, actually, you should see somewhere around here. <laughs> Screenshots. I'm going to make a tweet. Here Discussions. We're gonna Q and A. Ask <laughs> <laughs> Stuck on any tips for the first retreat? <laughs> the, Are you the only person that I get notifications for on Twitter for some reason? That's awesome. I'm, s I'm also, also I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we never actually tested it as possible. I believe that's neat. Why is it that we can't open these crates? Okay. You know what? That that makes a lot more sense. Okay. Uh, un un unpause the game, James. I have to make a tweet right now. Okay. Okay, well, we don't have... Okay, I done made a tweet. Man, what a weird choice. I Did, what? I let <laughs> you drive for five minutes and you get wrecked? <laughs> I trusted you, Cranderberry. Uh, yeah. We have to do this again. We have to, oh my God. We got 5% through the, the campaign. Oh my god, you have to start back here? Yes. What? Oh, are you fucking for real? Oh. But we've never played this game before, so maybe we should... No, no, let's get wrecked. I mean, it, it, it's Cranderson's show. Okay. How, what do you want to do? You know what, we'll play it on extra hard. I will like we'll still get wrecked, but okay. So campaign, yeah. yep. Regular. If you're just tuning in. This is getting wrecked with Cranderson, and I'm a guest. I'm James Popstar, and we're playing a video game today. And this game is called Reve. So I'm I'm uh, behind the wheel because Cranderson cannot be trusted. I can be trusted to get wrecked. It's what he does. It's the name of the show. Getting right. wrecked with Cranderson. Uh, so Feels let's see what happens. Low, let's see what's going on around me. Man, take forever. Come on. Come on. Whenever you get into the game. How do I skip the cutscene? Skip the cutscene. Skip it. Skip it. In ba -da -da -ba 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 -ba. Okay, here we go. Does this guy look like he's ever played a video game in his life? Yes. Maybe. Maybe he's played like one of those... You know, truckers really like Game Boy games. I don't know why. You talk to any trucker and they're like, Oh, I remember the Tetris! Oh, yeah! yeah she was well, dope! Tetris! Well, you know? I mean, you you know why, right? No, I don't know. Why do truckers love Game well, Boy? Well, you, you put the four batteries in, and then when you're taking a break on your truck, you can play it, right? Oh, of course, because it's portable, and they're always on the road. Ah, uh, you know what? Right, that, that's why they love cell phone that games That makes perfect now. sense. Yeah, these days, these days, truckers, they remember fondly the Game Boy days, but they just fuck around on their phone and play games. So It's like, 
Oh man. Oh shit, I said that word again, sorry. I said the G word, games. Alright. I don't let's, think anybody noticed. Let's asteroid this up. Uh, we're a platformer now. Okay, I remember what to do. Shoot the robot. No, don't don't shoot the robot. Shoot the robot is what we do. Dead. As I was saying. No, let's let. Okay, okay. Sell me shit. Yes. Until next time, angry man. Go, robot. <laughs> he deserved it. All right, time to blow shit up. This is my first time playing this game. I've never done this before. I've never played a game before. So that's not true. That's sorry. That's not true. I played a game once before. Now, however, it was not this game. So this is my first time playing this game. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. But as the old saying goes, fake it till you make something of it. So here we go. I'm going to try to win the game. How do you collect that? I want that. Okay. All so, right, so I'm going to get hit real quick, guys. Okay. Get, get, get All wrecked. Right, going to get wrecked. Got a fly flying around here. Bam. Okay, All right. Cool. Now okay. I can go back and get it. No! <laughs> um, you know, this game just doesn't like you. Well, I don't like it. No, actually, it's pretty fun so far. Okay, so R, R bumper, and then hit the, the R circle. Right. The R joy. Yeah, the game's not bad. And, uh, the name of the game, again, is Rivey, I believe. And it Rive. is made by... Rive, I apologize. It's made by Sunsoft. Uh, actually, it's two tribes. My bad. Sometimes I get them mixed up sometimes. The names are very similar. All right, it says push the right stick in. That's not working for me. Wait, how did you go into the, the nighttime mode? Uh, I pressed the button on the controller. How did we get through this before? It didn't do this before. I'm in. Okay. Now oh no. Works. Ow. Ooh, it's deeper than I thought. So this game was made by a team of uh, two Swedish children in about a week for a game jam. And I didn't know that. Yeah, that's true. Um, I read it on Wikipedia. And basically, it was a commercial failure, but it has a really strong underground fan base. Mm -hmm. It writes a lot of fan fiction. Uh, you know, they, they do the tumblers. They do, like, the... So, so they're, they're the shipping, like, shipping. The, the man and, like, the, the help pod, right? Yeah, so that's a, that's a really popular ship. So, you know, the more you know, just mm -hmm. learning about the Seems game like we're today. Record its coordinates. Oh! <laughs> we just got wrecked! I give Crandus in the controller every now and then because I think it's not going to happen again. The thing that happened last time oh, it's gonna will happen not happen. Again. I trust him. It's okay. Uh-huh, yeah. Every single time, Cranderberry, you fail me. It's true. Every single time. All right, we're going to get back in there. We're gonna get back in there because we don't give up, and we also got we off the one good credit times. mode. Yeah, when when sad day, remember happy times. Okay, so that's what she which said. Ga which game jam? This was a Swedish one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Hey, that's true. Now, now, how old were the these Swedish kids? They were thirty and four. Uh, if if uh, the article I was reading was correct. Uh, okay, so like it, it, it's kind of like Axe Cop, where like the older brother was like, "Yo, like Stevie, like yeah. tell me a story." That's correct. Yeah, and it's like there was a man and he had a pod and he shot a bunch of shots. As far as I know, the four-year-old did most of the work, but you know who's who's counting anyway. All right, I'm gonna upgrade to this one. So apparently, you're too upgraded in order to pick up upgrades. 
so you can get one upgrade apparently. And I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna get Okay, so upgrade. you picked up more. How do you get these boxes? What is this? Benjamin. Benjamin. SOS. Benjamin! Like, like the song. Sending out an SOS. How do you open this box? What, what is the trick? I, I'm pressing every button on the controller. Even that one. Oh, actually, go into controls. Toggle hack, switch attacks. The aims, fires, mm -hmm. moves. Double jump. Toggle hack. Oh, Double maybe you pack. need to hack into the boxes. Okay. Uh, try hitting right trigger. Oh look, the pull up the beam. Look, it, it tells you the the angle of the angle, beam. Angle, yeah. Ah. Oh wow. Oh man, you should That's you should upgrade feature. your your hack range. You can only do it to thirteen. Oh man, I want a better hacking range. Try, try Whoa. Well, one of the boxes went away because I blew it up. It still doesn't explain what you do with them. What is the purpose? I see them everywhere and I don't know how to open them. This looks like a job for the internet. I'm going to find out. I'm going to Google playing Reve how to open box in the game. How do you do it? Because I don't know. I've never played this game before today. Can you help us open these I made up all that shit about this game, by the way, in case you don't understand jokes. That being said, it may be true. Alright, you know what? Uh, Screw this. I'm not going to find any answers. Uh, instead, I'm going to keep playing and forget I ever saw those boxes. And it will weigh on my mind. Yes. Ben, ben gave us the, the secret code. What? Use your special weapons and then you can pick them up because they're ammo. Are you for real? Oh my god. Okay. I'm, I'm going to give you all a game design lesson, okay? When you do shit like, Oh, my health is full! I can't pick up the health box! And then I go get hit, and then I go back to collect the health box, and it's gone. Or shit like, we're going to give you a bunch of special weapon upgrade Use your missiles that you can't pick up because you haven't used your special weapons yet, and I don't know what they do. Like, like this one right here. See it's if you confusing. can upgrade now. In fact, the fact you even drop them when I can't use it is confusing. I'm going to tell you a little secret about Shantae. I hope it's okay. Okay. In Shantae, the drops are fixed. What does that mean? Drops are fixed. Well, when you... Uh, in Shantae, when you whip a jar to collect a power-up, there is, like picture like an internal pie chart of like odds of a thing that can spawn from that jar we fix it in the player's favor so that when you hit the jar potentially it's going to be hearts if you're low on health and the odds of it being hearts if you're low on health are higher if you're like super broke maybe it's going to be gems if you're all good maybe it's going to be nothing but the point is, we think about it in favor of the player. Now, this game, I'm not trying to compare or say this game is bad or is a right or wrong way to do it. But my expectation as a player was not met, and I became confused. Expected result. Expected result was I could pick up a power-up. This game doesn't work that way. Is the game bad for it? No, the game's not bad. In fact, I'm really enjoying this game so far. But just a little lesson out there. I somehow didn't die in that room with threat. Oh wait, there was no threat. Whoa. Did we clear the stage again? Yes. That's fantastic. Let's move on. Good job. You didn't die this time when I gave you the controller. Now, granted, there was no enemies, but you know, you have your ways of getting wrecked. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so this is apparently hard mode. It's pretty hard, but... You know, uh, how do you I, feel I, it compares to, like, one coin mode? I think you and I are fairly skilled players. 
Well, one coin mode is bullshit because every time I hand you the controller, something bad will happen. <laughs> but I, I think you know we're pretty skilled players, so it's a it's like a bad uh, indicator of difficulty. The fact that we can get through it. Hmm. I think it should be more unfair. Let's see what this does. Or maybe not unfair. I think you should expect more of you. Alright, we're gonna try again. Let's go let the bunch of loot here. Oh, by the way, did I capitalize your name correctly? Yes, you did. That is the correct capitalization of James Popstar. I'm not too picky about it though, because the Kirby series for which the Popstar name even came from is pretty inconsistent about it as well. In fact, pop star should probably be two words as per the current accepted nomenclature doing it instead of camel case or all lowercase one word. Uh, but I, I kind of don't care. I, I well, camels are pretty cool. Camel case is good. Camel case is the wave of the future. All right, going through these pistons. What is that? I want that. Can I hack? Can I hack this to be my helper? I love you. I love you. Come I don't on. think it loves you. Scanning. You. I don't think scanning. you. Well, I, any I think day it's, now. I think any day now. Any no, I day think, now. I think it. I think it just says that when when you're using the scanning mode. Oh. I don't think you've learned the the ability to hack bots yet. How did I get a friend last time? I want a friend. Uh, again. you learned how to hack bots. Okay. I'm I think that's a couple of rooms from now. That's what she said. That that is exactly what she said. She said I'm still inside. Oh, the house. Whoa. Oh no, your friend nurse killed you. Why? Did I, I know, dude. I used my special. Try circle and strafing. And it killed me. Did, did... Wait, your, your own attack murdered you. Yeah. I didn't know that there was friendly fire, whatever you call it, when you can hurt yourself. Okay, so... So that looks like your friend, pal. Oh, nope. No. Not your buddy guy. Hmm. Okay. Only this piston moves, I don't know why. To let you know that they could move, I guess? That's perplexing. Okay, so you, you you have buddy pals over in there. Is my health running low? The screen's getting all wonky. Yeah, you... That's what she said. You, you have five... You have That's five bars. That warp station has a lousy range. But that won't keep me from my loot. Okay, so he is like a space trucker and he wants... He wants his shit. He's a juggalo and he wants his shit, basically. Right. And he ain't gonna die till he you gets know. it. Come on, let's fay go. Let's fay go for it. Right. Oh, 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 they're all coming back here. Why are they doing that? They're trying to repair the- Oh, they're the all trying to repair that fucking- Okay, I know what's up now. Alright, I just got it. It clicked. Let's get out there and get more of those little fuckers. Oh, what's up with that one? Oh, uh, that was hell. Oh, man. Oh, shit, son. Well, that was super rude of them to just explode on you. Any of you that just tuned in, both of you watching, I am James Popstar. This is Cranderson. We are playing Rivet. The name of the game is Rivet. Right. It's about a uh, space frog yep. who's trying to mine for Fago. Correct. And this game was actually kickstarted for 4.8 mil. Or was it Bill? I'm not sure. 4.8 mil or Bill? Four Bills. Four it Bills. Um, it was created by a team of engineers that used to work at NASA, actually. And during the duration of development, they used only a trackball, not a keyboard and mouse, to develop the whole game, which is really, you know, fascinating. It's a kind of a real feat. You know, they, they figured that you could type faster if you could just keep swirling around to enter your letters. I mean, everyone's got their way. You use a Dvorak keyboard. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think it's crazy, but it's your way, right? So that was their way. They, yeah. they used the trackball to make this entire game. It's my ninja way. Really impressive. Uh, hats off to that team. Uh, they're in Germany. And I'm going to go ahead and try to... Oh, there's, figure out there's a hack panel. Here. Oh, I'm going to use the hack panel. 
Oh, think. they didn't open the door. I oh, but you, you got made a gravity. Oh, Look. what's that? I got a Jolly Rancher. Okay. Alright. So this right game on. expresses like the the deep feelings of that's Raver life. Useful. This is true, yeah, definitely getting that vibe from it. You know, that that's why they have Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. It's the candy. We're doing okay. We we he, haven't been, been too badly wrecked. wrecked today. We might have to change the name of the show to getting wrecked sometimes in parentheses. Sometimes wrecked. Mm. Sometimes. Getting kind of wrecked. Not too wrecked, just enough. Just enough wreckage. It's still broke. Alright, now what? I think I continue... Oh, try, try and hack your, your friend pal over there. Right, I'm it, hack it. Because it wants to, it wants to go and yes! visit a friend. Yes! I got a pet! Aww, they're best friends. Like into dangerous territory. They love each other. You know, that, that that's sort of the nature of friendship, right? I like you hack it. somebody's brain and then they help you. Oh! Yeah, none of that up in here. So the enemies are actually based off autonomous drones and and how they fly around the world. I wish drones were real. Well, someday, you know, we'll we'll figure out how to put things in the air. Hey, this is where we got murdered. Let's not get murdered this time. Also, my friend came along. Oh, um, have we figured out how to shoot off missiles? Yes. Hey, shoot missiles, pick up things. Shoot missiles, pick up things. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. I'm going to keep doing it. So, it would be cool... Oh! So, going back to our previous discussion about, like, not being able to pick up things. No! You know, you, you, you steal the life of your friend in order to continue living. It's very romantic. <gasps> well, that was some crap right there. The control messed up. The sun was in my eyes. I had a cramp in my thumb. What if it told you, like, missiles are full? When, when you tried to pick up missiles. That would be fine. Anything to indicate it, because that would tell me immediately, I, as a player, I'd be like, oh, those are missiles. Oh, I already have missiles. I have missiles. Now, it, it, the more elegant way would be to not have to use words, but right now it doesn't tell me anything. So game designers, uh, game designers in Moscow, if you're listening, it'd be really nice if you want to update patch it to make it so we know that what these are when you try to pick them up, because we couldn't figure it out until someone told us. Well, that you know, that, that's sort of the problem with, were. like, Kickstarter games is, you know, it's it's often your first project. You haven't polished things. Right. You, you, you and I, as far as I know, this was the first uh, game that this team has ever made. All right, and, retreating. you know... Oh, oh my goodness. Re retreat some more. Retreat um, all oh, the way. Wait. I can't oh, retreat no. anymore. Well... That that's what she said. Oh! That was really messed up. I don't know if you guys saw that, but wait, that wait, was kind of bullshit. Did, did it hit you and like you you bounced from the damage? I got knocked damage? back off and bounced off the wall and then hit the laser. I was being very careful. I was being very very careful. That is some bunk. It's kind of bunk. I'm gonna pass the control over to Cranderson. Okay, let's let's Cranderson's see if I can knock try his very skilled hand at getting out of this tight spot. How do you fire the missiles? Uh, you press the right trigger button. To those of you just tuning in, I'm Cranderson, this is James Popstar, and we are here... What, what? Thug life. Getting wrecked? We're getting wrecked. Alright, hand it over. Okay, so we finally found the title of the show. So, so jump missile, jump missile. Like your mama used to tell you. I think I'm winning. I mean, it's not like they're going to keep doing this, right? Okay. Can you... Wait. Wow. You did it. Now, now jump it. Oh. Jumping it. Jumping it. Okay. Jumping it. Jumping it. Jumping it! Yes! What are these? What are these? Oh, what there's are, spider monsters. 
What's happening? They're spider bots. They're spots. They prefer to be called spadots. Wow, there are bats everywhere up in Spide this biatch. Well, I killed all the squares that I could. Spado. My health is full, so I can't get the health pick up. That upsets me. It's satisfying. All right, game designers, it's satisfying to pick up and collect things, even if I don't need them. Yeah, but what, what if you want to save it for later? Like bank it? Like Super Mario World when you get yeah. like, a mushroom, but you already have a mushroom and it goes in a little box in, in the corner? Uh-huh, yeah. yeah. Here's the thing about Mario. When you get a mushroom and you don't need a mushroom, you can still pick it up. And it's satisfying. In a lot of games, like in the new Super Mario Brothers series, lives didn't mean much. Because you could just keep yeah, playing again Yeah, life is again. worthless. Li yeah, one-ups were worthless. Life is worthless. One-ups were worthless. And this is an interesting, like, no, like a psychological, like, point. But collecting coins gets one ups, right? They don't really have much other purpose. People would go crazy trying to get all the coins. Why? They, there's not a Co purpose. Picking up coins because is fun. Because they were there, it was fun. It feels good to collect things. Let me collect something even if I don't need it. If if there's a health thing or like this box right here, I can't pick it up. Uh, use now, some if I fire that, then I can pick it up. There we go. Up my missiles. But just let me pick it up anyway. It feels good. It feels good to pick things up. So game design lesson of the day. Let me pick it up. Just let me pick it up. It's gonna be fine. Everything is okay. Don't put it there unless you want me to pick it up. Yeah, exactly. Don't show me a piece of candy unless I can put that candy directly into my mouth. That's you know, it's just like cool. uh, it's like Pavlov's shotgun, That's right? Cool. Exactly. You don't show a, a shotgun at uh, the beginning know, of your I don't game. Know what that is. I'm green. Uh, unless you can shoot it like in the third level. Sure. This game, uh, Tomoki, is called Rive. R I V E Rive. Um, it is a platformer hybrid game starring a space trucker from Detroit. As far as we can tell. Oh, I know what to do. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Blowed up. Those of you just tuning in. I'm going to do this every three to four minutes. This is Getting Wrecked with Cranderson and Thomas Popster. We got wrecked immediately. I hand him the controller for one minute and we get wrecked. I want, to j I want to jump with the A button. It's not that kind of game. It's a twin stick game, so your thumb needs to be placed in the appropriate place, which is on the right stick. If the A button were to make you jump, you'd have to remove it yeah, from the right okay. stick and therefore not be able to shoot. Which would be poor design. And they thought about that. They, they, they considered Okay, so they the thought about something. They thought about the fact that you might be one of those people that's like, I'm going to try and do this. It doesn't work. Type Sorry, B. Sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. I apologize. I'm going to I'm gonna tweet at the world one more time. But Fire special attack. This game's pretty fun. I, all things considered, I, I like this game a lot. I think it has some flaws, personally. There's some things I don't like. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But overall, I uh, I'm enjoying it. It's a lot of uh -huh, uh -huh. action. Hog all the ha hack modes. Frustrating sometimes. Okay. If you like so games that are a little frustrating sometimes, this might be the game for you. A special attack rate that's useful. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I shot it. <laughs> what? <laughs> a special attack rate. So, so, so I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we have unlimited lives because we sure are wasting them. Oh. I, I don't know what to make of this. Seriously? <laughs> Try again. This time you're going to get it. I have, I have a good um, feeling about this useful. run. So I kind of feel like... <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Oh, but I'm out. I'm out of. I'm out of special of the ammo. Out of special K ammo. Oh god, why am I? Oh no. Oh no. What? This could, this scheme is terrible. This is a pretty difficult game. Uh, settings, controller. Okay, so aim and f fire, but. And the pack and the special, but let's see. Okay, 
I, I, I kind of hate B there. mode entirely, except that it actually has the things where I want them to be. Why do you hate it if it has the things? Because where you the want aim and the fire be. is no longer on the on the twin stick. I see. But I, I want to move the special attack and the toggle the hack mode. Damn. Okay, well, I Maybe guess... Maybe you, can you customize Beyond? <laughs> Heavens, like no. Batman Beyond? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Toby McGillis. Okay. A special attack rate. And then aiming and the shooting, okay. I'm take a selfie. Yep. What? That's like a really good selfie. We're both in the selfie. <laughs> uh, this control scheme, I think, is sort of awkward. All right, let me try. I'm gonna see how quickly I, I can learn it. I, I, I think I want to jump with the oh! joystick. Oh, you can't jump with the joystick. You don't know why? Because there's space sections where you move, the joystick moves you in all directions, right? Okay, but you you like you could switch the control scheme depending on what because you do con switch the control scheme depending on what okay, mode you're in, right? That hack, this is jump, and we're yeah. The could could we have Smash Brothers style jumping? There's nothing different about this control scheme except that L trigger <laughs> is on the left bumper, right? The it, it, the only difference is the L ones have been flooped. Got it. Loop the loop. Yep. I actually like this a lot better. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, mis missile jump. Oh. Missile jump. I I got wrecked. Cub, boom boom. All right, I'm I'm, I'm gonna try one more time. Okay. Let me try again. Mm-hmm. I'll allow it. For those of you just tuning in, my name is Jackal. This is Madhouse, and we are playing Kafloopadoop. What's the name of the game? Swoop Hopper. You can't just make up words. Yes, you can. Now, just technically all words were made up at some point. Yeah. Like, half of the English language was made up by uh, William Shakespeare. And the other half was made up by uh, William Tell. Where are my special bullets? They're 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 on the uh, bumper, or is it a trigger? It's the the right trigger. Try the right trig. Not You're working. all out. I'm all out. I'm fresh out of bullets. All I have is bubble gum. So I guess it's time to kiss ass and take names. Yep. Yeah, Smash Brothers owns. It's a great game. In fact, I would go as far as to say Super Smash Brothers is a masterpiece. Probably one of the greatest games of all time. It's brilliant. I truly adore Super Smash Brothers, the entire series, every single one of them. And Melee is pretty good, too. Yeah, Tomoki. Tomoki is rad. Now, now, Tomoki, were you the one that ate the, uh, the alligator? No! I got distracted by someone talking so, shit so about Smash Brothers, the best game. No, no, they're, they're, they're talking about, uh, Revival. Oh, okay. So this is a game where you play Space Striker <laughs> trying to resurrect a spaceship. Um, it has the soul of your dead wife in it. They got better than Nintendo 64. Yeah, so the spaceship has the soul of his dead wife. And actually he's a... And um, he's married to his job. He's a space milkman, and all he wants to do is deliver that sweet, sweet milk. But all these fucking robots come and, like, assault him. Nobody knows why or where the robots came from. It's that just is, like, I'm, I'm here to do my job. That is the actual storyline of this game. Cows like to give it. Exactly. That's that's his role in this world. What cow? Space cow. We are on a conveyor belt right now. This is <laughs> really... We just got wrecked! I'm going to give this back to Cranberry. Okay, Berry. this is some junk. Oh man, it's Space Jam. 
So, the interesting thing about this game is it was made in one night. Uh, it was actually developed by the U.S. government as a training program. Little known fact. And it was sold through a lottery system. You had to get a correct number and be called into the radio station to get a copy of the game on Laserdisc. Um, so we were, we were really fortunate enough that uh, the government supplied us with a copy of the game, and now we can share it with you here today. For those of you just tuning in, I'm Madhouse, this is Jackal, and we're getting Ooh. wrecked. That's the sound Jackal makes. <laughs> Blaze it. Stage hazards keep the game fun. Stage hazards make it so you never know what's going to happen. It's to even the playing Are field. Are you going to die unfairly suddenly for no reason? You just don't know. You know, it's like it's life. Fun. It's fun. Yeah, you never know what's going to happen. I, I think it's fun because most of the stage hazards can be prevented by you paying attention to shit. But also, they're completely optional. Also, Here's the thing about Smash Brothers. There's a stage called Final Destination. You can go there. Up. And it'll be like you're playing a fighting game that's a little more boring than like the cool pun, cool fun party vibe. Excuse me. Like you're that a boring they try person, to go for. and you don't want to play the game right. You can turn off the item. <laughs> sure. <laughs> there's actually no wrong way to eat a Reese's, and similarly, there's no wrong way to play Super Smash Bros. If you're having fun with it, that is your way to play. You're playing the right way. That is my personal belief as a game designer. How you play the game, whatever. Uh, uh, Some also, people. You know, they, they added, what was it, Omega modes? Right, for, yeah, Omega for, stages, For right. that very reason. It, that's exactly what I was about to say. Some people, they play exclusively on the Omega stages, and I think that's cool. Other people, they like to play the original Super Mario Brothers and try not to collect any coins. That's their way of playing, and it's fun. So there's no wrong way to play. If you're playing the game, you're having fun, you're playing it the right way. That's my and firm that's belief. That's why I think you should go into the chainsaws right now. Nope. Oh, that's, that's not, not fun? not fun for me, no. You know what? Winning is fun to me, and I'm going to win. I'm oh. determined to win this shit. Oh, man, use some missiles. It's actually pretty tricky. It's getting pretty tricky right now. The game is growing on me. When I first started playing it, I'm like, I don't think I'm going to like this game. I like kawaii games. I like games that are cute and colorful. Uh, it's cute. R r it's, it's got its Remember charm. your... your the trucker's got a certain like rugged kawaii-ness to him. Yeah, you know... Very sugoi. Very, very suteki. Well, I'm out of my what, good missiles. What What about sataki? Suteki. Suteki is a Japanese word. Does it mean mushroom? It means delightful. Oh. Oh. It might not mean delightful. I apologize. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Whoa! Well, whoa! Now, that was some crazy shit that happened right now. So, uh -huh. let me tell you a little bit about this game. It was developed by a preschool teacher in his spare time. He sold it at a flea market exclusively on floppy disk. We were very fortunate enough to go to the flea market. Yeah, and there's just one the downtown. Disc. And uh, Local similar hero. to, I don't know if you heard of a, a little group called the Wu-Tang Clan. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, they only produced one of the album. There's only one copy of this game ever produced on floppy disk. Uh, we were very fortunate we won the uh, estate auction and acquired that floppy disk. That singular floppy disk uh, that this entire game was stored on. And now we can share it with you here today. So no, thank no, you no. for tuning in. Three floppies, just like Sim Tower. It's really frustrating when you have to flip it to side B. A lot of people don't know. That's how floppy disks worked, right? A lot of people don't know that there's a side B to floppy disks. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're, not, in, we're not talking about hard shell floppy disks. We're, oh, no, we're talking no, no, no. about five and a half. Yes. The, the legit floppy disks. They, they, they actually floppy. And you don't copy that floppy. Looks like we're getting to the next level. All right, now we're in the, the train factory where trains are built. Now, I often like to ride the train 
when I'm in Japan. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, and the interesting thing about the trains in Japan is they all have a jingle at each stop. Now, now Cranberry, do you know what the jingle is for? Is it to tell you where you're at just on sound alone? Correct. It is to tell you where at you are at on sound alone. Pardon me. But not just that. So a lot of people take the train home after work, after they've gone to the izakaya, did a little nomikai, you know? Is, is that drinking? Izakaya is a place to go and drink and eat food. Nomikai is like business drinking. Now, they're really tired. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to keep shooting stuff so it works. Um, I think you want to go through the, the thing that you can't go through. Okay. So here's the interesting thing. Oh, you should hack. Oh, I'm going to hack everything. All right, I'm going to go around and hack. So they get really sleepy on the train ride home because it's late, it's after work, they're a little drunk. When people hear, this is like a basic human thing, even if they're asleep, when people hear the jingle of their stop, something really interesting happens. They wake up. What? So the jingles are not only to indicate where the train is at based on sound alone, because they could just tell you we're now stopping at So uh, you control Roppongi people by Station. playing like the, the wrong sound. But by playing the sound, well, <laughs> we'll touch on that in a second. By playing the sound, people will wake up and know it's they're stopping it off the train. Now, if you're an evil dick, like Cranderson, I'm not an evil you dick. You can record I'm the sound on your phone of the stop, play it in a sleeping businessman's ear, and wake him up and make him get off on the wrong stop. <laughs> if you're a terrorist like Cranderson. No, I'm not saying people should. I'm just saying people could. I suppose so. I suppose that's true. Now, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to let you in on something. A little oh, bit maybe you should. Maybe you should say a to that. A a a a. What's, oh my God. what's going on? Jumping here? around here like a. Like an idiot, embarrassing myself, and that's all I had to do this whole time. All right. Do I just keep going this way? Going my way. I've been playing a lot of Dream Daddy lately. Let me tell you, that is a dreamy game. About okay, daddies. so, like, wh what's the story behind Dream Dad? So, Dream Daddy, you're actually playing as a space truck driver. Okay, so very similar to, to this game. Yes, it's this, this, this is Dream Daddy. Okay. Um, and so here in Dream Daddy, the point of the game is yeah, to deliver the goods. We want to deliver the goods to deliver the, the other fun. daddies. Hey, so, hey, hey, Dad, oh, here's some buy, good, good here to fun. Buy a present. Oh. So you buy the right present, you can charm the daddies and win their heart. I don't know which one I want to get. I think... Electro stuff here for your Fox enemies is stunning. I want that because Definitely. I'm a big because they are Nikola Tesla fan. Yeah, I, I really liked him in that movie, the the really good thing it's at true. the end of the magic trick. It's true. Yeah, he was very good in that movie. Now here's the thing, uh, someone pointed out I'm a game designer. Yes, I'm a game designer. Uh, here's the thing. Just because I make games doesn't mean I know how to play them or anything about them. I just mostly get paid to sit there and look pretty all day and tell people what to do I, I they pay me to go to the office I sit in my throne it's it's and a chair and I sit in a cubicle I'm sorry you might not I'm know this but he has a mirror bit. and a hairbrush sitting on his desk because he has to keep his looks up otherwise they would get rid of him right and so I basically get paid to tell people what I think would be a cool game idea. I, I, I have a team of programmers, artists, sound designers, and engineers, and um, food delivery people. And I sit there in the chair and I say, Dude, it would be sick if we made a game where you were basically a truck driver in space. And get this, get this, get this. You had to deliver milk to crying babies. And they basically go, okay, whatever, that's fine. Now, that doesn't mean I know what I'm talking about. Half the time, I, I just make shit up. It doesn't mean I even know how to play games or I'm very good at games. Oh no, the hack terminal's broke. Maybe I already hacked it. Okay. So, Tomoki went, went on to Wikipedia and got some information about the game. Oh, finally. We have no idea what we're playing. I, I apologize. Fun fact about this game. Uh -huh. It's been in development for 12 years and was made in the mountains of Wurlburg. The oh, game developers made this there. game for farmers who are very lonely, so they don't have to shoot random things in their mech tanks. Oh, it makes sense now. Right. It, it, this all adds up. Got it. So, you know, representation is really important in video games. True. And so, like, mech truck driver farmers, 
they they don't feel very representative. Like they're not a space marine. It's important to be able to look at a game and say this game is about me. This game was made for me by me. And that's why I decided I wanted to get into the game industry. So you could make games about game designers so who I sit on thrones. I could entertain myself. I was really bored. Wow, that's really heartwarming and touching. Tomoki, thank you. Thank you for looking into that for us. I, I have a new respect hey, for this Hey, is this the lava game. place that I got burned on? I, this place looks a little familiar. I, I think what happened was we warped out of here, and we couldn't continue left. Now we warp back in, and with any luck... No, I can't continue left. Okay, see if you can hack the, the right. Okay, so the right's open. Oh, look, it's, it's, it's your medical friends. friends. Hack them. And hack, hack the other one. Bam, hack, baby bitch. D nice. Did you see how friend hacked you oh, up shit, into the I air? I said that word again. I said, I said the B word, baby, on stream. I apologize. I mean, that's very offensive to people that don't have children. Oh, I can only have one at a time and the other one gets unhacked? Well, that's a load of garbage. Unhacking believable. I, that, I see, I think it would be really fun if I could have like a swarm of bees following me at all times. Right, like in that game, uh, Greater, where like you have all the, oh, the attachments. Oh, no. All the peripherals. Yeah. What happened? Is Twitch down? Did we lose him? No, I that think would it's suck. I think it's still up. Maybe. Twitch flipped out again. It exploded. I, I'm just assuming that Twitch is going to have technical difficulties again. Whoa! It's a bubble, and there's like oh, no gravity in the bubble. I now like you're in a lot. bubble shooter. This is actually a pretty nice game. I'm, I'm, I have my issues with it, granted, but I, I enjoy. The ideas that they're exploring. I, I think it's really clever. 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 With a bang. A it did, impediment it did die as it bang. banged. But nobody's here to hear us say it's it. It's a clever level. It's clever. Yes, like, thank you. If, you're, if you stream and no one's there to see it, did you even scream at all? If you, if you cut down a baby in the woods, will anyone know it's scream? Probably not, you monster. So, we got Super Sky Whale. I'm oh assuming man. he's a boss? Oh, no! Look what look what a cute no! boss he is. We have to kill the whale. Oh. I love whales! This whale is a mecha whale. I don't want to hurt a the male. baby whale! Kill the male. Save the whales! Oh, look, they dropped you some, some rockets. Rocket them. Ro Hot pockets? What? They, they, they dropped some rockets. Rocket oh, them in the, fa in the face. In I the think we did it, guys. Insert we coin. got wrecked! Alright, so the name of the show is Getting Wrecked with Cranderson and James Popstar. I'm Cranderson, this is James Popstar. And we just got super wrecked. That's really messed up. How do you feel, James Popstar? I feel like you should probably do a better job of getting wrecked. Uh, I'm going to give you a chance to turn, give my hands a break. So this is really bad for a game designer, but I get a lot of carpal tunnel. It kind of sucks. I play Ow, video games face. all day. Oh, oh god, I forgot I how to video jump. Games for a living. I can't even hold the controller because the carpal tunnel it fucking blows. Never Granderson, how do you jump? Tunnel, Wait, okay. Right, so you press the left bumper to jump your milk tank, and the right bumper is for hacking, and the right trigger is for weapons. Oh, maybe I can hack them. No, no, I, I, I can't hack them. I can't. I really think that what you should do is you should try to win. Oh, oh, like, like in a game. Yeah. You should try to win the game instead of getting wrecked. Just a hunch, though. I don't, I, mean, I don't know. I don't really know a lot about like, this. Like, like you feel it in your heart, right? It's like, just a gut feeling. Sometimes I get those, and sometimes it's just gas. You, you just gotta, you gotta. You gotta did believe. Did we win? What happened? No, not again. No, no we, did we didn't win. win again. We did not win. I'm gonna give it a try because. Okay, so I'm ready. You know, seize the carp, seize the tunnel. Everybody, cut loose. Thundercats, they're loose. <laughs> Mr. Anderson and Pop Tart. That's right. For those of you tuning in, my name is James the Pop Tart. This is Cranberry. Also known as Mr. Anderson. And we are playing Rhyme. The name of the game is Rhyme, R-I-M-E. And here's the thing about Rhyme. It's actually 
a lot harder than it looks. This is not an easy game. It's not an easy game for baby children. But this, it this is game easy is for toddlers. For men, men of all genders. And let me tell you, I'm liking it. I actually think it's a fun game. Oh, I see what killed us. There, there, there's, there's, there's fire on the floor, damn it. Oh there, my god. There was fire. That sucks. I didn't know this. I'm going to try one more time. Let me do one more okay, time. Okay, you can do it one more time. Yeah, it's a hard game, and Ben is a pretty skilled player, so I think uh, it just, it's very telling that this game is just really fucking hard. Um, we, I think we're also playing on like a hard mode. We, we are so. playing on grown-up mode. We're playing on adult baby mode. We're adult babies here. Man-child. Here's the other thing um, I want to say about this game. It is a 2D HD game, and I have to give them props for that. It's got really, really stunning visuals. I'm more into, like, kawaii, cutesy, colorful shit myself, but it, this is a nice-looking game. I, I think they were able to get a lot of mileage out of not having a lot of animations because there's, like, a lot of mechanical things. There's a lot of things blinking on and off. Mm -hmm. um, and they do it well. It, it's, it's not animation-heavy. They can get away with a lot with just a little. So Ooh. the trick for that is to, I think, to double jump over it. Right, jubble but dump? not into the... To jubble dump over but it. But not into the mech... Well, the mail. Jubble mail. dump. Oh, my God. I got fucking wrecked. I'm going to give it back to you. Okay. So, pro tip, Falcon attack, go after the adversary of the automatically. I mean, whatever the, the heck that means, right? Some pretty messed up stuff there. I'm going to tweet this out so more people can join us here tonight. Man. Don't get wrecked. Do I not get wrecked. You it's get wrecked. It's called Don't Getting Wrecked with Cranderson. Oh, wait, what, what happened to my missiles? I'm... <laughs> Magma hey, Massacre. I really... I really mm. think you need to jumble them. Ma Jubble okay. dump over the fire. Oh, mamma mia. What's the URL for Mint Potion? What is it? For the YouTube or the... MintPotion.com? Or .tv or something like that? Yeah, does that show the stream? I would hope so. We would have to ask Benjamin. Meh. It's okay. Ma Matthew. Matthew. Oh, my face. My face. My, my, my baby man face. Matthew. Yes. Would you make, get Benjamin? Okay. Hey, um, where should we send people to watch the thing when when James tweets about the thing? Mint Potion TV on YouTube. Okay. Does the website like That's link to the to streams? Know. I'm a fucking noob, so I don't like. I'm just a guest star today. But if y'all enjoy us playing, I'll try to come back some more and we can have fun. Oh no no! Take a day dump. Look, I did it. I I, I jumped over the thing like an adult. That bump. All right, here's. Here's the trick. When you double jump, you have to do it in such a way that you don't like jump into those. Right. right. I, it, it's not super easy. Like you, 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 you got to needle the thread. That's an adult term. You got to office your work. Oh, watch, watch out, watch out, watch out. I did it like an adult, like, like an adult, just like got an adult. Wrecked. 
Cranderson took a fat dump on this game right now. Take a day dump, a dump dump, a fat dump. A double jump, double dump, triple dump, fat bump. You will die if you get killed, so just don't get killed. Thanks, Sigfield. Oh shit, what up, Frederick? Hey man, thanks for tuning in. We're playing a game today. The name of the game. I forgot Tom, the name of this game, actually. It's Tom Clancy's Ghost Robot Farmer. Tom Clancy's Ghost Robot Farmer. It is a classic. It was made by Tom Clancy himself. Rest in peace. And the most interesting thing about this game is you play a farmer who has been sent to a space planet to get back your cow, Bess. Now, Tom Clancy's son who is an actual factual game designer, finished the game for his father. This is a memorial. The game is a memorial, that's right. It represents everything that Tom Clancy was about. Robots, fire wheels, military, cows. If you know Tom Clancy, you, you know there's like a lot of subtle in-references to the games that Tom Clancy made. Tom Clancy was a very famous game developer, developed a lot of games. Uh, the Rainbow, Rainbow, what is it? Rainbow Island Stories, I believe. Right. Uh, Which was, was actually a spin-off of uh, Bubble Bobble. Of double Bubble. Um, yeah, Double. But that one easily gets confused with, like, uh, Lolo's Castle. Right. Lolo no Daibo Ken no Monogatari uh, is another game that's in that genre. Easy to mix them up. Now, we decided to play this today because it's actually the anniversary of the day that Tom Clancy decided to take a fat dump. This is one year since the day that that happened. Rest in peace, Tom Clancy. Tom Clancy. Actually, originally spelled T-H-O-M Clancy, but he had to change it because there was another member of the Screen Actors Guild named Tom Clancy, and you can't legally have two people in the Screen Actors Guild with the same name. So, instead of Tom Clancy, he is Tom Clancy. Um, I believe he was one of the most famous game developers of our day. You know, he was because he's no longer with us. Like, like, everything that he learned, he passed on to his, like, his disciple, Shiggy Mortar. And this was released posthumously. Which means after the joke. After exactly. And okay, I actually am gonna try to win this time because we keep getting fucking wrecked out by this boss. So instead of like <laughs> getting wrecked is a beautiful thing. Dicking James. around, I'm actually gonna try to win. Just dicking around and making jokes all day at ourselves. Let's see if we can win. Alright, he's got a shield up. So when he turns Whoa. off his shield, oh. when he turns off his shield, James, you should shoot him with the missiles. Shoot him with a gun. Got it. Go, go ahead and try again. Like I, I feel like you're getting there. For those of you just tuning in, this is getting wrecked. This is getting wrecked with James Popstar, along with Cranderson. Who is who? Nobody knows. It's a mystery, a mystery, even to me. I don't know which one am I. It might surprise you. I actively have amnesia right now. True. He's also drunk. Smell the whiskey on his breath. Get drank. Whew. Let me tell you. With his not good star whiskey. and Crander. Barry. I, I want to, just to be sure, this is being broadcast on the internet, right? Yeah, to, to millions of people. So all those F-bombs they dropped, people heard that? People heard you say the F-word. Family. Fun and family. And Freedom. Fester's Quest. Fester's Quest is the dirtiest word on the planet. I can't believe I just uttered that out of my mouth hole. Now, I'm going to do my best to try and win right now instead of making jokes, so... So he's going to get serious. Happens. It's, time, it's time to get serious. Like Mega Man. I, I actually don't want to be on this boss forever because... Well, number one, that's a little boring to watch to be on right, the right, boss right, forever. Right, right. Looping so. around, seeing death screens seeing all the funny, funny joke jokes that they put there because they know you're going to get wrecked. Like, w what's going to happen? You're going to get wrecked. They put funny jokes there. 
you know, kind of like ease the burn, like a uh, palm olive, right? Right. You, you pour the palm olive directly in your eyes. No, James. You, ease like, the burn. Like My carpal tunnel is like fucking me right now. I'm going to try one more time. Okay. So yeah, I'm a game designer. I make video games for a living. I work at a little company called WayForward. And frankly, I don't, people ask me, how do you get in the game industry? I don't know. I don't know. I don't well, know how did you how get in the game industry. You get in the game industry. I'll tell you a little bit about the way I did it, and I'll actually, I'll, I'll for real tell you what I did. Um, it's not like not a joke. Since I was like a little kid, I would make games to entertain myself and like whatever students at the school were willing to collect the CDs I burned them on, and I would like sell them for like a dollar. Oh, like how this game was sold at the swap meet. Exactly. Um. And basically, I essentially sold a lot of games enough that I could afford some pretty nice snacks at the snack bar in high school. Now, that's nothing to do with this. So, later in life, I would make games for fun and put them on the internet, and I decided to go to a little thing like, called college. Like Apple Tree Story, right? Apple Tree Story is one of the games I made in college for an assignment. Um, to this day available. Fuck! To this day available on my website. Do not go there. It's really old. I should probably take it down. It's a little embarrassing. But when I was in college, I made a game and my teacher was really impressed. I'm like, let's take a tour of the local game studio called WayForward. I'm like, I've heard of them. I played Shantae in Secret Star Saga. I like that company. I didn't know they're local. In fact, they lived 10 minutes, they lived 10 minutes away from the place that I live, and I went there for a tour. Oh no, oh no! Wait. And I got to talking about uh, the games that I made to the president of Way Forward, and a I Mr. got offered Voldy Way. Mr. Voldy Way. This is all true. Every word of the story is true. I'm not like, I know I fuck around a lot. This is a true story. Um, and I got offered by Voldyway an internship to work at the company at first for free a little bit, which is fine, and get some in industry experience, except once I started working there, I'm so lovable that they offered me a full-time position, and the rest is history, and I've been there as of this year for 10 years! Can you believe it? I've been working at WayForward for 10 years! It's incredible! So when this guy started, he was drawing like human beings running away from disaster for Contra 4. Uh, Dogen, I hope I'm saying that right, and it's not Dogen. Dogen. What did you use to make them? Click and play or something? Yes, I did use click and play. He still used click play. A lot. Play. In fact, I still use click and play. Uh, currently, it's actually a piece of software called Click Team Fusion. Uh, my buddy Matthew is like the mastermind designer behind that. Matthew's actually here. Say hi, Matthew. Please come on camera. Wait, wave at the children. This is Matthew. Hi. Matthew is the lord of click and play. You've heard of Lord of the Flies? Which they're doing the new version of apparently. Well, this is the Lord of Click and Play. This guy is the foremost expert on Click and Play. So can you Not tell really. us a little bit about how you learned to use um, Click Team Fusion, also known as Click and Play? I saw old goofy fan games on the internet, and I was like, "Hey, I want to mess around with those things." So I opened them and I messed around with things, and then I made my own things, and then I just kept making things, and eventually stuff happened. So Matthew works with me at WayForward, and we make games together. And the common thing here is we both decided to just make games to fuck around and have fun. And then we got a game industry job. So I don't know. People ask me, how do you get a job? I don't know. How did we get jobs? I don't actually know how you make games for a living. But I will tell you, if you just decide to make games for fun and fuck around, there's a pretty good chance that it can lead somewhere. It can. If, if you do it a lot and you have passion, you get good at it. And just like, you just wanted to open games up and see wh how they worked. So you did your click and play thing, you learned how it worked, and you became like the, basically, click and play Jesus sitting with us right now. And you learned and you got a job. And now you make games for a living. So, yeah, I don't know the answer. I don't know how you get a job in the game industry. I know it worked for me. Maybe it'll work for you, but maybe you do your own thing. But I'll tell you something that can't hurt just making games. Just do it for fun. So anyway, thank you. I'm sorry to pull you in on short notice, but that was Matthew, everybody. A round of applause for Matthew. Yeah. That was me doing like 
The crowd goes wild. The crowd goes wild. Uh, yeah, thank you for bringing up Click and Play. It's, I'm very fond of that piece of software. I mean, speaking of a piece of software I'm very fond of, I'm enjoying this game a lot. But it is hard! This is a really difficult and challenging game. We are getting so wrecked on this boss. I just want to win. Right is now, that I too winning. much to ask for? No, uh, it, it's a bit much to ask for, apparently. Oh god, you're, you're, you're down to the four hit points. Oh my god. No! I slipped. Guys, I slipped. I'm gonna get a little more. <sighs> Man, just just James. Just James. I don't know if any of all any of y'all are Scott Pilgrim fans. But Peach Tree. But Peach Tree, the shirt I'm wearing. They Apple wrote the Tree song story, Scott Plum Pilgrim. Tree story. Uh, they wrote a song called Scott Pilgrim. Plum Tree is a band. They're a Canadian folk rock band. Uh, they made a song called Scott Pilgrim. About a boy that they had liked for a thousand years. Literally a thousand years. A boy years. they had a crush on for a thousand years. I've liked you for a thousand years, a thousand years. I've liked you for a thousand years, a thousand years. That is the lyrics of the song. And then, like, Edgar Wright saw that song. He right. saw the waveform. He was like, hey, Brian Lee O'Malley, how about you draw me a comic so that I can make a movie? That's exactly how it went. So, I'm wearing the shirt of Plum Tree the Band. But, like, what does that have to do with Scott Pilgrim other than they made the song? In the Scott Pilgrim movie, he wears this shirt. Not this one I'm wearing on my body now, you mind you. You didn't steal it from him? No, I didn't steal it from his cold, dead, <sighs> hard, delicious hands. I, I actually purchased this shirt on the internet when I was on a Scott Pilgrim kick. <laughs> I don't like the controls for this game, James. The controls are hard. I, I, I want to jump with the Y'all, if you guys are stick. watching this game, do me a favor and, and tweet out or retweet the link and let's get a party going in here. Let's get a nice little viewership. What, little what, community what? of people doing the double jump and the double dump and the bubble, 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 double bubble and trying to win this game and cheering us on. So if, if you want to do us a rock solid, go ahead and tweet that shit, retweet that shit, triple tweet that shit, untweet that shit, then tweet it again. All right, so for those of you just tuning in, I'm Mapleberry, this is Super Sky Whale. We're playing Super Mario 64. It might look a little different to you, but that's because this is a uh, art swap. It's a, it's, a, it's a classic ROM hack, if you will. You know, that, that's that's what Mapleberry's all into. I, Wait, am I, I Mapleberry? Who am I? You're Sky Shark. I'm Sky Shark. I'm Appleberry. Yeah, he, this is Maple Bar. So, <laughs> we got a burn baby bird, like Disco Inferno, because you burned your ass up on the fire, which I told you to look Don't. out for. I, I explicitly said, do not get burned. I said it like 10 times. And okay, yet well, you did it. Just, just use the missiles. Just use the missiles. He turns off the shield, use the missiles. Actually, shit. Uh, Contra 4 was my first game at WayForward. Uh, that was the first game I ever worked on. I remember it was my first day as an intern at WayForward, and they sat me down and they said, We need to tell you something. And I was like, What? Am I fired already? It's been like eight minutes. Like, we're working on a little game called Contra. And I was like, Shut up! Really? I love that game. For real, though? Yes. It was real. And I got to work on it. I got to do some um, animation work, actually. Yeah. I did Running Scared Humans and other assorted accoutrements. Uh, it was the first game I ever worked on. It was, and I, and I love it. I didn't do any actual like design stuff other than some like pickup animations, uh, but it was fun. It was, it was a good experience and. For that to be the first game I got to work on, it was it was really an honor. I was I was really happy and uh, delighted. Uh, since then, I've had the pleasure of working on a lot of WayForward's uh, Mighty Series games, Mighty Switch Force, Mighty Milky Way, uh, as well as uh, all the games in the Shantae series. Oh my goodness, uh, this is very difficult. I would really love to do this is a very like difficult another Milky game. Way. I'm becoming a little frustrated, but I'm going to keep trying. I'll I try one more time and I'll get back okay. to you. So, so, James, do you want another Milky Way? 
Should we find a better way to do a Milky Way? I would love to revisit the Mighty Milky Way series what, because what about I, like an I never action got to Milky quite Way? Finish it uh, the way I wanted it to. Just got to get out the door eventually. But I, I think it was a good game, but I think it could have been a little bit more. So I still have some ideas about it. Will we ever revisit it? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I, I have to really be in the mood and really internally like push for it. I, I would imagine to make it happen, but. Mighty Milky Way was a game on the Nintendo DSi. It's a DSiWare download game. You can actually still get it on 3DS on the eShop. How long is the eShop still up for? <laughs> the eShop is, is I heard not going anywhere. I heard it's they're a taking 3DS down the eShop. The, the, they're the taking DSi. down Miiverse, which is sadly... Uh, November 8th. In November, yeah. Not enough time. Um, but the eShop is still up. On hey, the, all, all you programmers out there, make like a web crawler to, to download all of your, like... Well, basically all of the Miiverse. Yes. Download everything on Miiverse and back it all up because we don't want to lose it, you know? I mean, there, there's really so many sad. cool little drawings on there. And, like, just just imagine when you're playing Smash Brothers and you're on the Miiverse level and it's, like, communication, like, disconnected. It's sad because some people, they made friends and they built relationships on Miiverse. I'm sure there's a couple that got married that met on Miiverse. I, I'm sure there's one? a couple couples. I think I, I think I made it up, but I'm sure it's happened. And it's sad that that's going away. But you know what? Here's the thing about Miiverse. It, it's all about the bottom line. James. It costs money to keep something like that running. You know, server costs and all that. James, James, I got him half. I got him half. I got him half. I think you can do I got it. it. I think you do it. Oh! <laughs> I got him half. Wrecked. Lay wrecked. You know, here's the um, other thing about this game I want to tell you about. This game was actually built using Game Maker, um, but <sighs> it was not the regular Game Maker. It was Game Maker Junior for kids, which is the um, the GIMP demo version of Game Maker. They pushed it to its limits. I have to admit, they really, really did things that I straight didn't know you could do in Game Maker Junior for kids. Um, that was actually included in Highlights Magazine. I, th I didn't know they they printed that anymore. Yeah, they, they, they do. Um, it's digital these days. And it was a CD that was packaged in with the digital Highlights magazine. It was a CD in the digital one. Uh, to my understanding, yes. You got a problem with that? Now, this game received an 8 out of 10... On Famitsu. On Famitsu, that's right. And... That's that's my favorite. That's a pretty respectable score. Now now English Famitsu is less good. I think I, I but I'm you know it. the the Japanese one really like understands the game industry. But uh, you know when when you're trying to do like oh the controls right? right like yeah yeah the the thing about that was Famitsu has been in print since the early '90s I believe if I'm not mistaken and. The what? great thing is, highlights for kids doing the guest column for Famitsu was one of the most brilliant moves they could have made, because it opened up a whole new world of reviews, some of which were games that people had never heard before. And now, now, admittedly, Dragon's Crown was not the best choice for a kids' magazine, <laughs> but, you know... You gotta take risks. You gotta be a go-getter and take risks. I'm trying to take risks right now. I forgot what the hell we were talking about. I'm gonna try to focus and win. Okay. I don't want to lose got, anymore. You, you, you got me down to half health. One hell of a whale. One hell of a sky super spy whale. Granderson, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Uh, we're in Detroit, I'm sorry to say it. There's a really interesting thing about this game. And it, it, it's that it likes to murder you? That's not what I was going to say, but that's true. What? Every time you lose, it gives you a different message to spice things up. And I think that's a nice touch, because in this game, let me tell you, this game is fucking hard, and you're going to be losing a lot. And it's nice to get that little personal touch of just a little bit of a different message each time, but... So it doesn't get stale. Not only that, it knows how it murdered you. And so it, it likes to rub it in. Like aloe lotion. 
Welcome back with snacks. Did you bring enough for the class? Just kidding. Enjoy your snacks. I would like a snack. I'm oh, actually man. very hungry. Snack time. I had... Is snack time happening? I had a morsel for lunch. I would love a snack time. How can we get that arranged? Okay. Let, let's see if I can find some snacks. Can you conjure up some snacks with your wizard powered? This is really difficult. For those of you who don't know, Cranderson is actually a level 7 mage. <laughs> it's like a wizard, but uses red magic. Okay. And he conjures up... What, what is this? Snack tick food. It's just regular old tick... Don't get me wrong, I like this game. Okay, so, the, um, so James, this is a, Facebook, a uh, rare and exotic asking. Japanese candy called Tik Tak. Tiku Taku? Yes. Oh. Le you know, like Kaku Paku? Yes. Right, so it, it's based off the Pac-Man pellet, but they, they wanted could to you, avoid copyright. So I'm playing the game, could you like put one of those in my mouth? Like, like, uh, uh, uh. All seven of those <laughs> missed my mouth. All right. Got him. Got him. I got, him. <laughs> I got a TikTok on my mouth. Okay. It's very <laughs> astringent. It has a very astringent taste. I like it. It burns a little. It burns going down. Like that whiskey we drank before the show. I like it. I'm going to give it... A Q out of 10, the letter Q out of 10. I think it would be nice if it came in different flavors. I'm imagining Fruit Punch, hmm? Diesel, maybe even Charlie Chaplin flavored. I think I would have to give this a buy. I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a buy. Not a rent, I'm gonna give it a buy. Do not rent the TikToks, Tiku Talks, I'm gonna say buy them. Very, very tasty. It's got a bit of an aftertaste. What is the aftertaste, and is it good? It's like salsa, but if salsa were minty and not salsa. So like a mint salsa? That, yeah, that's what I'm going with. Yeah, like a mint. Um, but no, but no, no, not like more like salsa. More like salsa, like uh, like cilantro. Did you know? Holy shit! Okay, there's a. Oh my god! All right, I'm gonna tell you. What makes me a little upset about this game? It just occurred to me there is a point system for the enemies you kill. Earlier we discovered, fuck, earlier we discovered that there is a decision, let's call it a decision in this game, where when you can pick up a item like a health box mm -hmm. or a weapon upgrade, when you Go to pick it up. If your health is full, or if your weapons are full, you can't pick it up. Now, normal games, what they do is they let you pick it up anyway. And I was mm -hmm. like, well, okay. So they make it so you can't pick it up. Now, here's the deal. Here's the deal. This has a score system. So they conceivably could have let you pick up the items and just added to your score and made it not pointless to pick up the items. Oh, my God game design lesson. It feels good to pick up items. Let me pick up the items. Just, Sorry, I'm just a mini just, rant. Just drop things and I'm let me pick designer. them up. I'm a game designer. I have opinions. I know. I apologize in advance. I have opinions. I have words I like to say. I think this game is fantastic, by the way. I'm... I'm. This is quality content. I, I have opinions, but I think this game is really skillfully designed and put together. All 12 of the kindergartners that made this game should be very proud of themselves. That Nobel Peace Prize was well earned. But the thing is, they don't know how to give out points. They don't know how to share. You know what? I'm willing to cut them some slack. But they're kindergartners. Kindergartens haven't really learned how to share yet. Shit! Okay. I'm actually feeling it this time. I actually think I have a chance to win. What do you guys think? You think I have a chance to win? I believe in you, James. Heart of the cards. This was that. Let's let's do our best to try and win. So I'm gonna focus. Don't gonna be go scared. Oh my god! Uh, well, just murder them. Oh! For I Mur just lost it. My thumb cramped up, and the sun was in my eyes. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's not fair. I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna pass it to Cranderson. For those of you just tuning in, this is snack time. I am your host, 
getting wrecked. This is Rive, and we're playing a video game. The game is Revival. It is based off the afterlife. This game is a simulation of where you go when you die. You mean hell? Nope. I mean the bad place. Oh. Interesting fact about this game. This game was actually packaged with a small figurine of a bee, a bumblebee, that if swallowed, had similar effects to that of Epicac. If you don't know what Epicac is, well, I shouldn't be the one to tell you. You might want to look that up yourself. Milk of Magnesia, you know? Right. Damn it. Alright, give it a go, Cranderson. Bomb drop. I'm gonna take a short break. Okay, so... Man, I... I wish that there was more of the controller options. No! No, I... Ah. You, d you don't like twin shooters? I really like twin stick shooters, but I also like being able to jump. And, and not turn on the hacking minigame when I'm in the middle of a battle. A good old bullet hell. Have you played Jamestown? Yeah, that's what I love to do. Just not shoot my missiles. Ben. Would you like to try? It, 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 it'll probably murder you dead. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you played this? When did you beat it? When did it come out? Okay. And is it true that it was programmed by a high school teacher in the inner city? I don't know. Maybe because it's a lie? But is it a true life? I don't think that there is a single good, like, controller layout in this game. Every one of them is dissatisfying to me. I am a controller snob now. It happened. It happened to me. You know, play one game, the controller just does not work for you. You know, that, that's the beauty of the Steam Controller, is I say, I want the button here. And it's like, you want it on your foot? Yes. Are you sure? Definitely. I am definitely sure that I want to control jumping with my foot. And then it lets you do it. It just lets you do it. Like, you, you, you tie it to, like, a headphone jack that you plug into your computer that sends a tone to your microphone when you press your foot on the button. It's like a cuff button, but... Instead, it makes you jump in Rive. We back in there, baby bitch. All right, so Ben is going to kill it for us because Ben 
apparently... Because this show is now called Killing It with Ben. ...is actually the developer of this game. Ben made this game in one very drunk week. He worked very hard on it. And he actually, instead of using a mouse and keyboard, used a foot pedal to program the entire game single-handedly. Or should I say, single-footedly. So can you he tell us a little bit foot. about that, Ben? Now, <laughs> he said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak for oh, him. Yes. He said that it was really delightful. Difficult, the hangover was the hard part. That's true. Yeah. Everyday hangover. This is true, this yes. Is true. Yeah, absolutely. And did you know that the bugs in games are actually called bugs because an actual bug fucked up programming? This is true, also and true. they came to be known as bugs. Yes. An admiral. That is admirable. Admiral. Admiral Ball. You're doing pretty good. I feel like you've you've got better odds than myself or Cranderson at, at hacking this. No way. We fought bosses all the time. We fought like we fought like bosses all over the place. This is at least the eleventh boss. We we fought like squid boss and whale boss. We fought squid and baron, whale baron, ammo baron. Dog baron is my favorite baron. Pizza baron. Um, we even fought Baroni's pizza. Pepperoni pizza baron, the most delicious baron of them all. A lot of people prefer just a simple cheese baron. Ben, as it turns out, has taste. What kind of baron do you like, Ben? Ben really oh, likes shit. garlic baron. I'm a big fan of anchovy baron, personally. You know, I like to live a little. No, look. you're not. No, you're gonna win. No, look. Look, look, you're you're ninety eight percent of the way there. Like two more shots. Everyone at home being like, hand me the controller, I could do this shit, you guys are clowns. Maybe you could, I don't know. But it's genuinely hard. It's actually a really tough game. It's a lot harder than it looks. When I look at this I, when I watch Ben play, I'll be like, Oh yo, 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 you do I could do this, I could do this. Then, but the fact then hands is, on controller I tried for a while. And it's like, oh I'm 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 literally dead at this moment. I'm seeing stars. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give it one shot. Let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna try it once. I'm feeling it. I'm, fe I'm actually feeling really fired up. I'm feeling pretty good. You look fired up. Will I win? Probably not, but I'm gonna try anyway. Do it. Believe in yourself. I do want to try again, though. Don't you think this is hard? You think this is hard? Fail. Hypno Baron. So do you think that Whoa. for this game mode, did they make your bullets weaker, or I think they made or everything ma or else make stronger. You weaker? Yeah. Oh, I landed on it's fire directly. It's okay. You have you have healer bot. But what's shitty is when healer bot dies and falls on that flaming spinning blade thing. There's nothing you could do. You're doing well. Trying to hang in there. Just use those missiles. You got it. Those are not the missiles. Oh, oh I God. pressed the wrong button. I tried to hack it. I guess I couldn't hack it. <laughs> oh! Side splitting. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing because it seems to be working. Oh boy. Holy no! cow! No! Let's rage out. I did my best. I have no regrets. And this is the missile button? Yeah. All right. That's too bad. I actually thought I stood a chance. <laughs> you still have your stage hazards now. <laughs> yes. Yes, I love him more than ever, frankly.
I'm gonna tweet at some of y'all. For those of you just tuning in, it's I'm James wrecked. Pop-Tart. This is Benderson. <laughs> and there we got and Crandable. Crandosaurus Rex. We are playing a game called Riven. I love Riven. <laughs> this is true. Using HTML. It was developed purely in HTML4. I like this game. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this game three thumbs up. That's not a thumb. That's a space dish. It might surprise you. Every shot in this game is actually a separate web page. Every bullet in this game contains the entire contents of the internet in 1998. True. There's something that I don't like about this game, though. Uh, I, it's cheery attitude? Close. Okay. I think there needs to be more scantily clad people. In I general. Think this game would benefit from... A bunny person, bunny girl, bunny guy, bunny, bunny they, uh, some kind of bunny person holding up a sign between rounds being like, you, you failed, try again. Now that would encourage me to keep playing because when I would lose, what that would go ahead and do, it would ease the pain a little bit because I could l look at and admire that bunny person. That was tough, yes. I'm really proud of you. Thanks, guys. You got a Jolly Rancher. We're you got, you got a Jolly Rancher. Back We're in back rape. in the rape. You did fantastic. I, I am genuinely impressed. Are you ready to get wrecked? All right. Time I for one. Wreck. Welcome, my gun turret overlord. <laughs> well, thanks, Ben. Yup. All right. Get by with a little help from my friends. That's a song about smoking marriage. It might surprise you. Every Beatles song is literally about, like, eh, about drugs. It is a, a metaphor. I saw her standing there. Drugs. Let me hold your hand. The hand had drugs in it. Right. I mean, how do you get drugs from your drug dealer? You you take it from their hand. Got to look them in the eye, though. Right. Don't look them in the eye. They're they're like they're like the opposite of a dog. Look right. a dog in the eye, it bites you. Right. Don't look in the eye, it gives you drugs. Dear Prudence. Mm. Prudence is actually another name for street drugs. Street drugs. Pop tarts, mm. if you will. Mm. So. Oh, it's the robot, kill it. Why are you talking to yourself, 3PO? Don't you yeah. if you want to know what's going on? I don't want to know it. He's a snarky robot. I kind of like him though. I think he's nice. I think he's nice, and I want to be his friend. Robot, will you be my friend? I'm really interested to see like where this is all going in this game. Like, will will the trucker deliver the milk to the crying baby? We just don't know. If we get stuck on the next mini boss, Ben will come and fix it and wipe away our tears and serve us Tic Tacs. <laughs> As it should be, all according to plan. All according Your special to attacks Kotatsu. all the time. All right, so, 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 oh. You can't use that virus. It's strictly prohibited. What virus? I saw you getting a virus Ignore him. Now. Oh, he won't let us, uh, let yes, us out. That virus. Please don't utilize it. Let us out of here. I have no illusions of privacy on this ship, and I don't care. Let's take the crap out of those turrets. All right, I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot everything now. So, so right. James, the horrific truth has been revealed. Every, every robot is naked. That's disgusting. Whose idea was that? Was it you? Yes. You are a pervert. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. True fact. Oh, I like when you can go in the liquid and go around every direction. I think it's, I think it's it, a really it's cool... A, it's, 
it's anti-gravity. As a game designer, I actually think that's a really clever feature, and I'm going to steal it in my next game. So please look forward to it. Mighty Switch Force Galaxy, the Milky Way conspiracy. It is a little Milky Way-esque, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a little planet of water. A plateau. Oh my goodness! You've just plateaued. Just potatoed. All according yeah, to Cake. I'm going to tweet out again. Join us at minpotion.org. This is Minpotion. Brought to you by Wheaties, Breakfast of Champions. Diet Pepsi, uh-huh. McDonald's, you're going to like the way you look, I guarantee it. And so on and so forth. Now, I, they haven't used that hack uh, feature in a while. Did you use it? I sort of. I, I think it was pre-hacked. It came pre-hacked. That's like when you get a coconut that's got holes in it for you, and you just stick the straw in and drink the inside. Keep you, going. I'll be right back. You put the rye in the coconut. You put them both together. Yeah. So how do you know this is a, a cave level? They put bats in here. That's a little game design trick. No, not really. I'm back. Turret attacked. Hello. What up, nurse practitioners? My name is Jamerson. This is the Kranz. And we're playing a little game called Rhythm Trivial Heaven. Pursuit Rhythm Heaven Edition. Now, we've been stuck on the previous boss for the past maybe half hour or so. 45 minutes. 45 minutes even. But that's not going to stop us. We are going to beat this game tonight if it kills Cranderson. I, I, I don't want to die. We, we want to taste the victory. We want to win. So we're in it for the long haul. We are trying to win. In it to win it. Fake it till you, you don't have to fake it no more. Now, as you might have noticed, the name of the show is Getting Wrecked with Cranderson. The problem is chances are we're going to get wrecked. We may want to win. We m may want to taste and suckle upon the teeth and drink that you sweet know, victory juice, but we're probably going to fail. That's Daijobu. just the nature of the show. We roll with it. It's okay. Everything is Daijobu, James. Daijobu as fuck. All right, so those so some there's some planet candy down there to pick up. Mm, tasty. Oh, it went away. Oh. So much for the planet candy. Give me that. Okay. Give me that. Okay. All right. I'm behind the driver's wheel again. Okay. Strap in. Dogen, are you ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Du -du 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 Fuck! Y'all ready for this? Du -du 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 Fuck! All right, let's try again. Just keep, just keep going left. Y'all ready for this? All right, I'm not going to do that again. Ignore it. Ignore it. Yep, yep. 
It's getting hot in here. So fu wait, hold up, hold up. Which way do I go? Go, go that way. All right. Okay. Now no, that was the wrong way. Yes. <laughs> Deep fry. Duh. Okay. Ignore it. Up, up, down, down. Up, down, left, right, A, B, start. Whoa. Okay. Oh God. Okay, so you're you're gonna have to long jump and then hack while hack while spinning. While inside of the bubble. Then you hack it okay. again. Alright, and I'll go in this little Is this a meat factory? Oh. So oh. from the train station oh, no. to the meat factory. Wow. Oh no. Oh no. This was built to kill. This was built to injure, maim, and otherwise. Well that's why it's a meat harm. factory. Oh, and that's the game. Snap! Snap, baby bitch! Look, wow! We, we oh, got I said the B word again. I said baby. Shit. We, we got to the end screen. Alright, you know what? I'm not giving up. Kill I'm not screen giving up because you guys are not giving up on us. Kill screen in three. The potential ribbon kill screen in five minutes if anyone's interested. I think we're going to beat this game. I think we're going to beat this game tonight. For those of you just tuning in, welcome. This is Getting Wrecked with Cranderson. I'm Cranderson. This is James Popstar. And we're trying to win. We're in it to win it. Now, now, as the name of the show is getting wrecked, we're getting wrecked repeatedly. I really like this game. I have to admit. Now, I like that the game repeatedly kicks you. I think Cranston makes down. a valid point. This does not have enough bunny boys. It needs more bunny boys. It needs more scantily clad bunny men. And women. And women. You know got to have the diversity and I think they should appear at every intermission and they they, they should hold up the HUD should hold up the HUD. Yeah, they should hold the whole HUD they should hold the game over time I really I really like this game though this game like this is a picture book of a bunny reading to its child about the meat factory little known fact about this game this actually started out as a picture book this was a children's picture book that was adapted into a video game and we're here playing it today. Um, it was a national bestseller, won the Newbery Award, um, won the Nobel Peace Prize, and was beloved by children everywhere. Sold over 800,000 copies in Florida alone. And Florida, not a big reading state, they say. No, they, they barely know how to read, but th it was a pop-up book, actually. It was a children's pop-up book, and this is the game adaptation Loosely based, I say loosely because there are some differences. In this one, you know, you, you there's cutting knives, and in the children's book, there was dinosaurs. It's all the same shit at the end of the day. Now, right. my favorite part about the game is when you purchase this game, it comes with a free taco. Now, granted, they can't put a taco in the game case, so how do they include a taco, you ask? Great question. It's actually a... Fuck, it's a coupon for Wahoo's Fish Tacos included in the underneath the sleeve of the game you slip your hand underneath the sleeve of the game and you'll find the coupon there they don't, they don't even talk about it on the packaging they don't tell you on the packaging it's going to be there people just discovered this it's amazing what people find out on the internet and so uh of course we have not redeemed our fish taco because if you use it the value of the game's collector's piece is there for literally garbage so we've kept it intact and we Decided to stream this to share with you the magic of this game called Blaster Master. Now, so, now the, I'm going to hand it off to you. The original I'm story, the up. dinosaurs, were, were teaching about brushing your teeth and also the power of love. These buzzsaws, on the other hand, do <laughs> much the same thing. I, I like that it's like a one-hit kill and it does like the screen shake and the screen goes red because you, you know right away you screwed up. I, I think it's a really good touch. Uh, like, in game design perspective. Let's take a game design perspective moment. When you die, there's no mistake what the hell happened in this game. It makes sure to let you know. The music stops. The controller actually pinches your thumb. I don't know how they did that. It's frankly incredible. It draws a bit of blood each time. I'm getting pretty loopy because I've lost maybe at least six pints of blood playing this game. Dogen wants to know if we're trying anymore. Hey, what up, friend? We're getting some. Surprisingly, it's like pinball. You're you're going all over the place. We're still trying. Yes, we're trying. We're just not very good. Cranderson's really drunk. 
He had a white Zinfandel. Do you know what the alcohol content is of white Zinfandel? It's actually higher than whiskey. Exactly. So we're trying our best, but it's it's difficult. You know, it's it's been a pretty challenging day. We're tired. We're hungry. And this game is really hard. We believe I mean, in a thing called love. We, we believe in the power that, of that power love. That T-Rex taught us. He taught us the truth. Uh, give it to me. Okay. okay. You can do this, James. I'm actually going to try to win, so let's see what happens when we you gotta try. Be, you got to win to be in it. There's a few things about this game that I want to point out. The HUD is really interesting because when you have a HUD that could get in the way of gameplay, it's really frustrating. They've gone pretty minimal with it. And they've added like semi-transparent like mm -hmm. elements to it, so you can actually see through it. And I find personally, it makes it so the HUD doesn't get in the way or get distracting because it's slightly transparent. Um, I like that a lot. I think I'm I'm being genuine when I say that's a nice touch. It doesn't get in the way of gameplay. It's non-invasive. Okay, so we've now gone to the second phase where they shoot rockets in your face. I I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my special. Always. When it gets like really hairy, but when there's a crate next to me, I'm gonna just use it oh, because I'm gonna look. Pick you're one up. bleeding. Am I? Oh, I'm bleeding red, red Jolly Ranchers. Yeah, oh, red sprinkles. Well, red you know, rave. Now, I think that's actually a commentary on the state of the candy industry right now. He's bleeding red Jolly Ranchers, and. That kind of goes to show you, in North America at least, people just not having candy as much as they used to. People getting health conscious. It's a real problem for Hershey's, Nestle. And this game is actually a commentary about the state of the industry. And, you know, it's, it's really, it makes some great points. You know, it really, it really makes you think. It really makes you think. Like, what if I did actually want to have some candy? Why, what if I had my break today? Don't I deserve a break? Am I not a man? That's a beautiful quote. And uh, that quote was actually by Shigeru Miyamoto. And uh, and the the answer to his question was, no, you're not a man. You're a legend. Exactly. That's the callback. When when someone says, am, am I not a man? You say, no, you're a legend. Wow. All right. I think I actually know what to do for realsies. I'm just gonna do circles inside of this. Okay. And then crash into And then them. crash directly into the enemy. <laughs> Karma <-kazi. laughs> I I actually want to win this, so I'm going to focus for a minute. Sorry okay. if I become boring for the next 30 seconds, but I'm going to actually win this. Now, now, James, did you know that Nestle makes pizza as well? Uh-huh. So I'm saying let's go get some Nestle pizza, eat it on stream, snack time 3.0. That sounds fucking dope, dude. Let's do it. So a rushed candy. Cranberry here and I work bad. at WayForward, and sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, other companies like to send WayForward treats, which is really nice and very thoughtful. If you work at a company that can send treats, uh, we love please, you. Please and mail it's us delicious. treats. Yeah, we would love to have them. So today, what was in the break room today? Can you tell us, tell the audience and me oh, about? We we had we Nature today. Box. Nature Box. Thank you. Nature Box sent WayForward. Uh, a lot of treats. They were, so many. They were really delicious. We sampled Snickerdoodles. Th uh, those were the best. Those were the best. So uh, just shout out to Nature Box. Thank you for keeping us Your gentlemen, well your scholars, intelligent, frankly, smart, smart people. And frankly, very brilliant. What a marketing thing to send a game company of hungry game developers uh, snacks. This is a real thing that actually happened. I'm actually really happy about it. You, you know who else promotes Nature Box? I, dude, I think Box? I passed the crazy maybe. part. Just maybe. But uh, Griffin McElroy really loves Nature Box. Oh, really? And he always tells us about the uh, the dark chocolate nom noms. I don't trust this robot. Sorry. I don't He's trust kind this robot of, at all. Well, he puts up a shield. It's not like we were shooting him in the face. Right? I don't trust this robot at all. I want to kill it. Oh, use use your hack. Oh, it's the button that uh, isn't shooting missiles. Hack. 
Wow. It didn't work? Did it work? I, okay. It worked. Now the game designers, whoever made this game, please make it... You make it so obvious you die, please make it obvious when your hack was successful. Please, do that. I know you can. Wow, he got fucked up. I thought he was going to be the final boss of the game, but apparently Well, not. I mean, you killed him several times, and then he keeps That's coming true. back. He always comes back. He is truly the most powerful being in this world that I know of. Well, okay, so... The thing is, we, we all know this is a game about, like, a dairy farmer trying to get the soul of his wife back. Well, this is the secret. That robot is the soul of your wife. That's a cre that's a Shyamalan level twist, dude. Right. Oh my god. Okay, this is very difficult. I need, I need to focus. What What I, is I even happening? Oh, maybe go down the hole. Does Nestle really own DiGiorno? That's fucking rad. I didn't know that. Dude, there is a Nestle pizza. I thought you were making a, a goof, you know, a, oh, a little, you did it. You a did little it. joke for the, the stream. Right, but to make people laugh. <laughs> but well, dude, well, I would joke. Apparently, don't fucking joke about pizza. Whoa, shit. All right, this is some straight up Flashman, Mega Man shit. Wow. Okay, so you should have gone that way, I think. I went the wrong way. You did. <laughs> uh, that's what she said. Wow! Wow! So, 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 so it, it, it's Screwed left. Screwed up. You go right, left. Right. I'm not afraid of no ghosts. Oh. But but you are burnt up by the fire. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna get it this time. Whoa. I have to shoot down because there's like crazy. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh no. Ship! Right. Oh, they're jerks. They're not nice. They knew that you could Whoa! That was a dick move, game designers! From from one game designer to another, you're you're a butt. That oh, was really rude. We, we were kidding. Don't go that way. Ha ha ha. That hurt funny. my feelings. I would never make a game that you could lose. <laughs> yep. I I fell for it again. You did. Okay. A fool me once. Shame 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 on shame you. on you. A, a fool me. A fool me twice. A fool me can't get fooled again. That Damn. is a quote. A that is a quote, quote by uh, game designer Shigeru Miyamoto. Shigeru Miyamoto, who actually quoted it from W. George W. Bush Carver <laughs> invented peanut butter. <laughs> I mean, may maybe maybe less with the documentary stuff, and and more with not running into the lava. I actually have an idea. Okay. Now, 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 just, just, yeah, I got it. Okay. Oh crap! I can jump. I'm hacking. I'm hacking. <laughs> <laughs> Why was I pressing the hack button? No! I almost had it. Oh my god! I, I feel so stupid. I was really close. That was the furthest I've ever gotten. I, I, I feel with how rare you use hacking in this game, that putting it on your your main control buttons is a little insane. It is. I, I don't want to like make it context sensitive. No, no I did it again. I, I wasn't thinking. I was talking. I was thinking about how it could be context sensitive. I, I I really I really would like it if we could make our own control scheme and not have like the true control schemes that they want for us. Stop. I, I, Stop. Yeah. Thank you. Thank down. You. Okay. Down. Up. Down. Okay, shoot, shoot, shoot. 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 Jump. 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 Don't then, hack! Oh no! Don't hack! Just kidding, it was a joke. It was a joke. Just, just, just fooling. Alright. Whoa! Oh, no. oh, wow! Oh. oh, no. Oh, I think you, you're you supposed to go under because it was like angled like a blade. That was really difficult. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, but... I get to continue from here. Not too bad. Not too... None too shabby. Okay, so they're good with checkpoints. I think they're really good they're, with checkpoints. They're check respectful with checkpoints. Alright, they could be a dick, but they're a sweet dick. A swick? It's like, um, what's that candy called? Sorry, the state of the candy uh, industry sour these buddies. days, I can't remember. Sour Buddies. It's like Sour Buddies. First it's sweet, then it's a dick, or maybe And, the and then around. you make a video game about it. And then you make a video. Actually, everyone, go check out Sour Buddies on the App Store. It's a game. I created that game. I made it Turn on with your... love in my heart. Okay. So Look, you have a new buddy. What does he do? What the heck? Jesus! What the heck? Oh, that's I so really much fire! I really it's cool because it's you can make friends with enemies. It's like Pokemon. It's like Pokemon. You can, I'm going to catch this Pokemon. Watch. Pokemon. Pokemon. I keep saying Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon? All right. That... No. Okay. That was actually plugging up the fire. 
on that tank. Oh, but look, but look, he, he's he's like a uh, a. Gosh, and now I don't remember what they were called in Galaga. Uh, option. He's a little option. Options, yeah. In in uh, not Parodius. Gradius. Gradius. Parodius. Make the Gradius. Shmup the game. Oh, I jumped into the fire. Okay, so there's fire, and you don't want to be in the fire. Oh, look, it, it's your buddy Super Weller. He's back. Super Well's back. Double kill. He, 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 Triple kill. He's wow. giving you, like, a rock. This is very difficult. I'm, what I'm not what do they want you to do? I really like how shabby the stream layout, like that, that black thing in the corner. Now tell me, uh, Christopher, did yes. you draw that self-portrait of the two of us in the corner yes. there? With a mouse. It's very shabby. I like it. Um, I feel like I got, like, your image really good. Like, I feel like... Uh, like, I look a little bit like accurate. a frog. Wait, which one's me? Which one's you? Um, well, I'm the one that looks like a frog, and you're the one that looks like a cool dude with a smile. Okay. Like, yeah, I think... I think it's pretty good, but you forgot my freckle right here. That freckle. Okay, but the the thing is, like, we're we're talking big pixels here, like it's it's like a retro style game. Yeah, but in fairness, the like, freckle's my best feature. You know, why would you leave that out? So just in the future, just so you know, I like it now, when now, you, do you draw want my a freckle. Big, do you want a big white freckle? No, I want the freckle like it's on my face. Well, okay, but it can only be big and white. Yeah, but the one on my face is not big and white. It doesn't make any sense. You're not making any sense here, Cranderson. I, Stick well, with me. Stick with me. We're trying to win. Okay. Now, 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 hack your friend and he'll shoot Hacked the well. Okay. Now shoot the well. Jump over the rock. Shoot the well. Hack the rock. Save the cheerleaders. Save the world. Right. This game needs cheerleaders. It needs cheerleaders. This it game needs, needs buddy cheerleaders. dudes. If this game had cheerleaders, it would be ten times better. H hack your, ha hack I'm gonna your give you a pal. chance to play instead of me because obviously I'm having a hard time. But that doesn't mean we're bad at video games. We're good sometimes. This is a very hard game. Okay. Oh, that's how I jump. That's how I jump. I I jump in the fire. Hacked! Hacked! Oh, no! And now, and now me and my buddy pal, we're shooting, we're shooting, we're jumping. Everybody's we're trying to win this game right now. Okay. I'm, I'm Everybody reading, wants I'm a second chance. Everyone wants us to win. The people watching on YouTube, thank you. The people watching on Twitch, thank you. The people watching on Netscape Navigator, thank you. We are having a blast. Uh, if you're just tuning in, this is Getting Wrecked. Uh, with it's Cranderson and James Popstar, guess who is who? You'll never know. Now, Chris, we, how long have we been playing this now? We've been playing this for two hours and 15 minutes. Two weeks we've been playing this game, and this is as far as we've gotten. It's a very hard game. Personally, I recommend it. I, I think this game... I, I, I didn't even know it existed, and now it does. I didn't and know this game my existed life is forever before better two now. hours ago. 